Well, hey, welcome to Throttle Power. Yeah, I'm addicted to these tractors. Like I said in the little mini tractor video I showed, this is the single engine tractor that I picked up from MCV Products, placed my order, you get a confirmation number, and then when the order is sent, they send you the number for your tracking so you can track it from USPS so you'll know exactly when it arrives which is fantastic. Love that customer service. Um, everything goes good. It's packaged well. I'm going to get the camera turned around, show you how well it's packaged, and show you how I built this single engine tractor. Thing just fits together like a glove. You pull it out of the box, prime it, paint it, and you're good to go. But um, I modeled it after a late 50s Chrysler engine. Uh, 1955 through 1958, the 392 Hemi. So I put a distributor in the back, picked up the distributor from Morgan Distributors. Uh, love his distributors. I'll have to do a video and show you his distributors. I think they're the best bang for the buck. But really like these tractors that MCV Products is offering. Go to their website, check it out. Here's their website. Just go to the tractors. You can check out what tractors they've got. There's a few of them right there. And this is my fourth tractor I've built. I did a, a four turbine engine tractor. Here's a picture of it. Did the five engine tractor. Did the mini tractor. And now the single. And if you want to go back in the archives, I've got the videos of the four turbine, five engine, and the mini. But this is all about the single one. I think it turned out pretty cool. Let me know down below what you think about it. And let me know down below if you've gone to MCB products and uh, dealt with them. I've had great luck with them, so I want to share it with you guys. I've purchased all this stuff. I am not sponsored by them. So I can give an honest review, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, or whatever. And, and I'm digging it. <laughs> Two thumbs up for MCB products. You guys are doing it right. But I'll show you how this thing's packed. And let me know down below what you think. Okay, my other tractor I ordered. This is how it comes packed. I just slip the box open. I can't do that with one hand. Tires and wheels. And again, I will take this one and unbag everything too and show it to you. This is the one engine tractor. Again, there's 20 bucks. Headers, the scoop or the hat. Seat, tank, front tires and wheels. And here she is. Come out of there, baby. Yeah. A little bit of cleanup on that, and she's ready to roll. These are so addicting. Very cool. All right, the one engine tractor. I kind of just stuck it all in there. Um, it, this whole thing just pieces together. Looks like I got an extra set of headers. I don't know why. I hope someone didn't get ripped off on some headers. Seat, rear tires and wheels. The uh, rear wheels come out. It comes packaged with the uh, rear wheels inside the tires. But this whole thing just, I mean, like I said, I just set everything on there. Of course, they'll come off. And that is your one engine tractor. What'd be kind of cool is, uh, just a little thought, I may, once I finish this, order another one. And what I think would be kind of cool is replace the V8 Hemi engine with maybe a six cylinder or just something completely different that you normally don't see. Might be kind of cool. That is your one engine tractor. I get all the parts under one color from my go-to primer, that Vallejo Black. It comes in a big can, and it saves you a bunch of money buying it that way. But after everything's in one color, I can start detail painting, and then it comes to my favorite part of modeling, decaling. Go through all my decals and figure out what decals I want to use. I ended up settling on these. It's so fun just to flip through your decals and just use stuff you've already got. But anyway, I pulled those decals out, and those are going to be the ones I use. There's my favorite spray paint I like to use when it comes to rattle canning at Tester's One Shot. There's the color I used, icy blue, beautiful color. A lot of nice, nice little metallic flake in it too. 
but I just walk outside and spray bomb everything. There's some of the other paints I've used for some metal colors. Those MIG paints. There I'm working on some more detail painting, getting the drive shaft done and a few other things. Letting everything dry. There I walked outside and spray bombed the fenders. Nice flake. Pretty color. Never everything was dry, I decaled the fenders. I didn't use any decal solvent or anything, just, just some warm water. You have axles that come with the kit. There's your front axle that slides right in, kind of cut it to length, and then you can super glue on your tires. Um, super, I only use super glue on this project since it is a 3D printed, like a resin kit. Um, super glue is the only thing you want to use. So that is the super glue I use for everything on this kit. The AK markers. If you haven't discovered these AK markers yet, Go out and get you a couple. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I've been going to my AK markers now for quite a while and using them quite often. That S&J metal polishing, I like to use that on moon tanks. It kind of gives a, a realistic moon tank look. There I'm back to my AK marker, the aluminum color, and I'm doing the back of the wheels there. A little more assembly going on, a little more detail painting, getting the rear axle painted. Another view of uh, the detail painting, the front and rear that I've done. I got the seat in, added some seat belts, and I used the chrome spray. I love using that Revell chrome spray. I've never had an issue with it. A lot of people, I don't know, there's, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, word out there where people don't like it, it's this or it's that. I've never had an issue with the Ravel Chrome Spray. Um, if you want me to do a video on the Ravel Chrome Spray, I will. The reason I never have is because I think there's 10,000 videos out there and do we really need another one? But I have a very positive um, word to say about the Ravel Chrome Spray, so maybe I will. But I definitely like that Ravel Chrome Spray. It's good stuff. The tires, make sure you get them uh, facing the right way as far as the tread pattern goes. I like to use those bottles to square everything up. And I painted the tires Tamiya Rubber Black. That is my favorite black to use for rubber. Got the sub-assemblies pretty much done. I'm getting ready to start just dropping everything in and hit it with some super glue. Again, there's my super glue. A little dab of super glue, drop it in, boom, it's done. It's that easy of a kit to build. These tractors are wonderful. Pretty much done. Uh, the fender is now clear coated and I'm going to turn it over and paint a panel with my AK marker and aluminum color. And you'll see how that turns out here in a second. Love those AK markers. Give them a shot. I think you'll like them. There she is pretty much finished up. Alright, that's my single engine pulling tractor. I've had someone ask how well this thing fits. This piece just slides right off. There you go. So I don't even glue these on to any of my tractors. It just slides right on. So you can paint it separately and you don't have to glue it. And that's one less thing you have to worry about getting glue over. So I think it turned out pretty cool. It's going to look great sitting on the shelf. I uh, got a chance to use the um, Revell Chrome Spray. Got a chance to use Morgan's Distributors, which I really like. Fun build. Highly recommend these. MCV Products, 3D pulling tractors. Love them. Let me know down below what you think. And we will see you guys on the next video on Throttle Power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I found a cool Facebook page dedicated to the pulling tractors. Right there it is, Scale Pulling Tractors on Facebook. I enjoy it. You might like it too. And there's the finished up tractor. If you guys have any questions on these tractors about maybe purchasing one or how it goes together if you've purchased one, contact me in the video. Hit me up with the questions and I'll try to answer them for you. I've built several of them and I really like them and I very, very much recommend these pulling tractors from MCV Products. They are wonderful. We'll see you guys on the next video on Throttle Power.